everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So today we've got a few things we need to do. We need to make some decisions. So um, first things first, uh, barracks, I picked up another mech warrior. Um, we picked up Comanche here. Now she's not the best uh, skill-wise to start, but she does have some good skills down here. Uh, so we got Smuggler, Moving Illicit Goods, uh, Reduced Injury Times, Merchant, Rebellious, which is not that great, but okay. Criminal may steal some C-bills for us, so she's not that bad, entry-level corporate. So hopefully um, she won't die. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Hopefully she won't die. So I just hired her. I tried to hire, uh, we got a, a um, if I go back to the Argo here, we got a uh, um, an event that allowed us to hire Squire. So if we go here, he shows up here, but I can't hire him, so 34,000. Right, we got 235,000. I go higher, I accept. We don't lose any C bills. And then when I go to the barracks, he's just not there. He disappears from here, but he's just not here. And then when you go back to the, the hiring hall, he's still there. So we don't lose any C bills when trying to hire him, but he is still there. So, I mean, I'll try and hire him before we leave the planet. Because he is a named guy, nice to have one named guy in each of our three lances. But, um, you know, right now we can't hire this guy. So we'll just have to leave it at that. Now, uh, mech bay, that's the most important thing here. So uh, I've made a couple decisions. The Atlas, we're going to load out. We're going to do an MRM build, heavy MRM build on this guy. We don't have the Seabills right now because, like I said, we need to drop a Clan XL engine into this. And I'm I was trying to make a decision between the Kaiju and the Marauder 2 and I think I've made my decision so the Marauder 2 if we look at it real quick so forgetting what it's got in it already we can put arm mounts on this thing which is great gives it bonus accuracy and all that kind of stuff right which is really nice we can put lasers and ballistic in the arms we could probably run the rack 10 on this guy that would kind of be cool and if we go back and we have a look at the Kaiju it's it's like a real big toss up here so the Kaiju the one advantage of this guy, we, we do have the three um, laser points in the arms. Now we can't put a weapon mount in here, which is unfortunate, but we've got this thing that's permanently attached to this mech, plus two increased PPC accuracy, which basically helps the arm mounted weapons, right? We're only min we'd only be minus one from not using a weapon mount. 25% increased PPC damage. So when we put the heavy risk PPCs in the arms, we'll be hitting for 100 damage per, per PPC plus 15% heat generation, which we can mitigate. That should be no problem. So, you know, and because this is a, a targeting computer, we could actually go and add, this is the advantage of this one. We can go ahead and add like battle control system energy, uh, range, uh, or tracking. Um, we don't have any distance because I use them already on the Naga, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So we do have some, uh, we've got medium range, but we can, we can add a few of these, right? So this'll help, uh, this'll help. So we can go ahead and add those to this build. So I think I'm gonna keep the Kaiju and I'm gonna ditch the Marauder too. As much as I wanna keep it, um, I have to decide which, I, we, I can't keep going on with this amount of C builds. And what we're gonna do is this Atlas, uh, we're gonna pull this out of service uh, actually, you know what? Let's just drop the Mad Cat into storage for now. Or the Marauder 2. That'll save us a little bit on our cost here. Go to storage and back. It should should repopulate it here. Does it? No, it doesn't. It should, though. Why isn't it changing? Anyway, whatever. So we'll drop that out. This Atlas most likely will get switched into the Kaiju and rather than running um, the large improved heavies, we'll be, running, we'll, we'll be running the uh, risk PPCs. Most likely the ER larges will, be dis will disappear from this build. Um, the Rack 5 will definitely go into the Kaiju because um, we've got the two ballistic mounts on it, right? I think it's the torso, right? And we might drop a, an LRM or something in there as well. Yeah, we got two ballistic and two missile mounts. So we can drop LRMs in here. We got uh, hard points for AMSs on the arms and stuff. So we can put AMS in, one in the CT as well. 
So that's the goal for this guy. Um, and we need to get a client XL engine in here, which is going to cost a fair bit. Now we do have one. Uh, yeah, we got one. So four million, right? It's saving us a ton of weight, right? Like 10 tons of weight. So it's got to go in. We don't have four million right now, but we can get it easily if we start selling stuff. So the goal for today will be to go and try and uh, like pull off a mission, get some more mech parts to be able to sell. Now, the Naga got outfitted, and I'm not really 100% happy with it. It didn't really turn out like I was hoping it was going to turn out. It just does not have the space in it. It just doesn't. Uh, with that 400 engine that we can't change out, it just doesn't have the ability to pull off what I wanted to pull off. But this is definitely a good second lance mech. So we've got the aero system in here with the two guide, two tons of guided uh, ammo, which will really help out, and the in, uh, one ton of infernal ammo that we had left over, which will help as well. Uh, we put the targeting uh, computer in here so we can get the Artemis in, and we got a battle computer missile, extreme range and long range and sensor trackers so we can hit fairly well at really long range as long as we can see our opponent it'll hit really really well uh, and we just have an advanced AMS with three tons of AMS ammo so we've got like what 600 rounds so I mean it's not perfect but it'll do its job Guardian ECM one jump jet um, and that's it I put I had to I had to use heavy Pharaoh to get the weight down um, uh, there's this patchwork is already here but I added another point to patchwork in here we just didn't have the space and we just didn't have the weight to be able to really do what I wanted with this guy so SLDF cockpit for pilot plus one tactics which is really what I wanted so hopefully if a pilot with a lower level skill we might be able to get it up higher to be able to, to uh, reduce the indirect fire um, penalty uh, so that's the goal with this guy uh, and it will like I said it'll end up being a second lance uh, second line mech so it'll replace having to use the both the, both of the night gear primes and the second lance yeah so that's that guy um now let's look into oh uh the orion we replaced the stuff in the head for this guy so it's not perfect we got the sensor trackers back the enhanced imaging back and i had to put the fire control system nova in to reduce the laser heat on it so we don't get a chance to do headshots anymore but we do get a chance to do uh um, some half decent damage with this guy so um, he'll still be in the rotation. He'll be down to the second lance. Still command mech for the second lance, but that's how that goes. Now, I did get the uh, Nova CEWSs put in. We had three of them. So I put one into the Zeus, I put one into the Atlas, and I put one into the main Direwolf. So we're back up to speed with the Nova CEWSs. They're all on the 100-tonners, well, except with the exception of the Zeus, which is an 80-tonner, of course, but they're all in the assault mechs. So that's that. Now, let's look at the, at the uh, command center here. I've already picked a mission that I want to do here. Um, so let's look at doing the mech factory. It's 521 salvage. We need to get some uh, rep back with uh, Clan Wolf here. It's again pir against pirate forces. Capture a base in the Badlands. So we're going to go full salvage on this. Get some points back with uh, Clan Wolf here. And we'll pull out the secondary lance. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to have to put. Um, uh, Vegas in as the commander so that's what's going to happen there now let's go with uh, where are you here uh, the standard loadout let's go with these two guys where is the this is our AMS here's our ATM yes and we're gonna go with this guy uh, Zeus the Atlas the archer and the night gear prime so i think that's our loadout and infiltrator uh where are you here dallas goofy duck hellion gundall mastodon and workhorse now uh we got hellion's tactics up to eight now it'll drop to seven i think uh, because i had to add two points to it but we'll see uh, i want to get her called shot ability up a little higher but We'll see how it goes, plus our initiative. Anyway, let's deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Let's hope these guys have some good salvage for us today. Okay, this map. Maybe it looks like they got three lances up there. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. 
rock and roll. Wait, who? We got a guy down here with us? We do. Why do we have... Oh, self just people that can just shoot us in the back. Isn't this just wonderful? All vehicles. Standing by. Well, let's hope that means they've got uh, some tough guys up here. We need to get up in close fast. Let's put you up in here. No shooting, just running. Just to start, because we need to get our uh, heavier boys up to the firing line here. been a while since we played on this map but then again we haven't been playing on Reporting. warm planets so um, let's get you up this way let's get you up this way yes, alright Dallas you can go up with uh, with uh, Hellion up that way. What's up, Commander? However, you can get to battle the fastest. This Atlas is actually not that's not that bad for speed. I think we put the 320 rather than the 300 in it, so it's got just slightly more speed. Roger. Beautiful. I'm liking how. Um, Can't we sprint? What are we stuck on here? We're off the. Are we are not. We're not. We're off the map board. The hell! Why can't we move? Well, good thing we got good jump jets. Um, what was I saying? Before I got so rudely interrupted with uh, distraction, ADHD. We gotta love it. Oh, what the hell was I saying? I, I don't even remember what the hell I was saying now. All right, <laughs> let's keep moving forward. Yep. Different in speed of engines. Oh my god, I'm never. I'm not gonna. It's not even gonna come to my head. Self-propelled artillery. Let's just shoot them. Only one hit with a 50% chance to hit. What? Thinking about the LRM build, what was I thinking? 320 core, that little bit of extra speed on the Atlas is nice. Ooh, Roughneck. Yeah, they got a lock on me. yeah well. Good to go. Let's make sure you've got us covered with AMS. Let's get into here. Orion, okay. 27 on this guy. Sniper with HE, let's just fire on him. We gotta egg execute this guy. What the hell was I thinking? I don't even know. I don't even remember what I was saying. I gotta give up on it. Sorry guys, I can't I can't remember. Um Yeah, that's god that's frustrating. Age, fatigue, ADHD, tension deficit, hyperactive disorder. All right, if we're going to do anything, we got to get to a point where we can shoot these guys. Lightning McQueen. Oh, beautiful. These guys are all clumped up. Um, they in HE range. He is in HE range. Firing. Firing. Spit some fire on him. What's up, boss? Yeah, I need you to uh, uh, light an area up for me if you don't mind. Like right here, do you mind? Locked on. That's night gear, man. He doesn't even need to move. He just stands at the back of the map. The fact that you can shoot across the map, that's crazy. 
It's just crazy, I tell you. Well, this guy didn't take a lot of damage, but hopefully the roughneck is like heated up enough. We're going to fire and maneuver. So let's go after the SP. Yeah, let's drop everything on him. Not enough for a kill, man. Uh, you don't think he minded it that much. Okay, we got a little bit of ability to spread out here, which is kind of nice. It uh, nerfs that uh, self-propelled artillery a little bit. So I was, I'm still looking for ammo in the um, in the stores. Picked up some Ultra 10 ammo. I picked up some mortar ammo, regular mortar ammo, which we didn't have. I, there was only one ton there, so I grabbed it. Half a ton of mortar smoke ammo I grabbed um, because I want to get that broadside working at some point. What else did I grab? There was something. Oh, some AMS ammo. Because um, I'm still got my eyes open for rack ammo or anything rare that's you know that we might be able to use oh ultra 2 ammo because we have a bunch of ultra 2s they're super light and if it's one of those things where we can throw them on a uh, on a mech to bring the heat down they're only like one slot too right i think they're like f five tons plan ultra 2s are only like five tons or something like that and one ton of ammo is enough for like 12 and a half turns of firing so I picked up a couple tons of ammo because I, I don't I think we only had one ton but I think we got three ultra 2s it's one of those things we could throw on a mech somewhere. Oh, is that a fucking stealth bomber? Might be a Nidhogg. Yep. It's because you got, you got good teammates helping you out here. Where is this guy? Oh, Cascatel. Alright. Get up as far as we can go. So we got a, a Roughneck, the Orion, a Vulture. Is that a 70 ton Vulture? It's not a Vulture 2. Thunderstruck. Thumolisher. It's got thumpers, right? It's got sawed off thumpers. Thumolisher. Ah, oh, crap, we gotta kill that guy. I think we need to push and get direct fire on these guys because we're not going to take them out indirectly. Plus these guys can help us out. Beautiful. Anything you guys can do is appreciative. As long as you don't shoot us in the back. Thermal barrack explosion! Is that from one of the turrets? Oh, hybrid carrier. God, stop. Stop. Those aren't the guys you need to worry about at this point. As soon as these three round the corner, you're screwed. Oh, nice shot. AMS working overtime. Most likely minefields. So far I have no idea what to take. Orion parts if we can take them. So we still we still haven't assembled that extra timber wolf which we have. That might get assembled and sold. I think it's like worth 1.6 million, something like that. That's a stealth bomber. That guy's got to go early because he's just 
fires once every three turns, but the the, the, the bombs are crazy. Who's he targeting? That's what I'm worried about. They got two support lances lans in the occupying force, plus turrets. So 16 guys. Then they're going to have reinforcements. It's probably only going to be one lance, which will rip to shreds. Let's hope it's two lances, though, because I'd like to have at least eight on eight battle. Second half. Hopefully we can get a direct line of sight on this turret. I have no idea what it's, what's in it, but if we can get a direct line of sight on the um, Thump Polisher with our guys coming up over this hill, that would be nice too. This Vulture will be a bonus if we can kill it, but I think these guys are the most important at this moment. Stealth Bomber most likely will take the arrows next turn because it is out in the open. So if we can wipe it out, that would be great. Uh, looks like we've got a long tom here. Oh, I think this is just part of the uh, decoration. I remember there being one here for decoration. I think that's it right there. So yeah, we can pull out the Stealth Bomber. Cascatel, nah, not such a big deal, but the Stealth Bomber is. And then this turret, I don't know what it is. These guys, not so bad. So we got, what do we got here? We got one, two, three... There's the Cascatel, but there's a mech here too. Unless this was the guy that moved up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We destroyed one, so we're still we still haven't seen two yet. Let's hope they're not more stealth bombers. See these things are slow. Yeah, look at that. Reporting. Heavy damage. Yeah, stealth bombers, man. I'm under heavy fire. It's a good thing he can only do that once every three turns. I'm pretty sure it's every three turns. Makes it fair, though. Front load damage and then it disappears. Alright. At least the flames burn out quickly in the desert. Who do we got going first? Hellion, Mastodon, all right, and Duck. I don't think Hellion's in a position to crest, to fire at anything. Although we might, no, nah, Stealth Bomber's probably, oh, he's moving up to die. Oh, screw you. Screw you and your damn senses. There's another guy here. What's this guy? Roughneck. Yeah. What do you think? You wrecked me up. Ooh, oh, oh, there was a, there we go. Not the best terrain to be in though. But we gotta deal with this stuff over here. There we go. Thunderstruck. Do they have turrets? I don't think the turrets are functional. But this guy's gotta go. Let's confirm this. Let's just wreck this guy. Beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> Die. Okay, let's just shift into here. That AMS up close. Um, Thunderstruck's not such a bad enemy. We don't really need to go after it. Now he's got incendiary ammo. Almost nothing left. Let's just drop some missiles on this guy. And of course, because I'm shooting indirect, it won't hit the turret. 
because why would it? All right, let's see what this stealth bomber's got. Nine percent. That's indirect arrows for sure. Thirty-one in the thunderstruck. Is that TBM thirty pirate times six? That could be kind of scary. Oh, long tom. There we go. Locked on rear armor. Ah, not quite enough. You know, there was a time when the LRM-70 was like the king of the battlefield for us, and now it's just not quite there anymore. Just not quite there. So maybe it's the second arrow build we need. It is friggin' scary in direct fire mode, though. If it gets you in direct fire, forget it. It's over, right? All right. Uh, let's yeah. Let's go with the warlord. Front load the damage if we can on this guy. Two hits, beautiful. Take it. Guys, make it a run for it. Went through the minefield. Looks like. those flames have disappeared all right now let's uh, do I want to split I oh, can't really split fire anyway because we're overheating here let's go with a 15 on this guy with the HE actually we can warlord this let's cool our ass off still gonna go with a 15 though there we go. You can shoot the turret. That's a kill. No one else can shoot the turret, apparently. Yeah, the incendiaries are going to go after this guy. I don't think we'll kill him. But we should deal some damage, and hopefully wherever the stealth bomber goes, we can hit him again and finish him off. This guy's scary. You fry me up a uh, stealth bomber here. Let's put it more on this side. Affirmative. Moving out. Keep bringing it forward. You're getting out of AMS range, but it's not such a big deal. Who are you going to shoot? That's my question. Okay, good choice. Keep shooting that guy. Or the long time, one or the other. Yeah. Just don't shoot me in the back. Don't put a minefield in my way, for Christ's sake. They really need a checkbox to say whether or not you want to use the uh, support lance. Because there's times when they help out, and then there's just times when they just are hindering you to no end. Like putting a minefield right where I have to run. Come on, figure it out, guys. Ooh, what was that? Was that the aircraft? No, it was something. Something, but there was no aircraft. I definitely have a heavy, uh, heat heavy build on this mech, so let's see how we do in a hot environment. 
Um, like nothing. This is crazy. This I'm gonna have to pull some heat sinks off this guy. Let's see if we can core this guy. See ya. He's a murderer. Moving out. So are you, Gundal. You're a little close, but that's fine. Let's just fire it straight up. Let's go with the uh, Warlord 2 to stay cool. See if we can shred this vulture. Just going to fire right on him. Got the arm. Almost got the leg, though, I think. There's a knockdown. Oh, he's got a Hydra and MMLs. I can't really wait till the next series because I'm going to use everything. Any kind of weapons that we get, I'm using it. All kinds of crazy stuff. Crazy builds, whatever we can do. And the, the stuff I've got planned for it, uh, I probably won't be able to pull... Uh, the torso is completely gone. I won't be able to do an episode every day. Um, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Um, but they're going to be extended engagements and extended battles because it's going to be, um, ah, where do I want you? Let's get into direct line of sight. We're not really that threatened by these guys. And let's switch it up to Hydra. And we're going to go after this, uh, stealth bomber. Apparently we can't do that with Hydra, but we can do it with this. And let's drop one medium. But yeah, so what I got planned is a lot of, uh, um, it's some pretty cool stuff, but like I said, I won't be able to do an episode every day. It just won't happen. Alright, how do we want to run you? It's going to be a multi-target, I think. So since that, that uh, aircraft didn't move, come on, oh he's stealth, right, I can't, ah, uh, really, not the building, the long tom. Alright, so this will be on, ah crap, it's not going to be a multi-target. This guy can't fire. Why won't you let me shoot him? Oh, because I still got multi-target on. Because I'm an idiot. There we go. Uh, I'm going to dial this back, though. Let's put it on three. Fire the rest. See ya. I just didn't want the rack to jam, that's all. We've got an Orion and another uh, Roughneck over here to deal with. So I don't want to have that rack jammed. Thunder. Thunder. See ya. Reporting. Enemy vehicle removed. All right, we got six guys left. We're supposed to scout the factory, and the entire thing's engulfed in flames. <laughs> Whoops. Is that my bad? <laughs> it's not much of a factory now, unless it's all underground. I really hope it is. Not getting paid for this one. Let's walk it up here first. Gonna save the, uh, well, ah, forget, forget saving the Inferno. So I was gonna save it for the, uh, next guys that come in, but let's roast these two. Something got hit. Something got hit hard. Enjoy that fire. Gascatel trying to do a flanking maneuver. So hopefully Goofy and um, Mastodon can take out the uh, the Long Tom in this TBM launcher. Cascatel, eh, I can wait. My 
only thing about the next series, I kind of got it up in the air as to how many mech parts I want to go with, whether it's going to be three or five. The reason why I say that is I'm finding now at the end of this series the rapid gaining of mechs is doing two things. One, it's making the game, like, now that we've got it cranked up to max difficulty, well, we're one shy, I'm going to be cranking up to max probably after this episode. I keep forgetting to do that. But it's, I mean, the, the challenge is still kind of there, but finding the right balance is difficult. So I want to kind of go with like a slower pace from the beginning. And two, the later phases when you're gaining mechs really, really fast, it's hard to keep up with the C-bill cost of constantly re-outfitting everything, right? That's the thing that really bugs me. Yeah, you just had to drop a minefield in the way, didn't you? This guy's all yours. Let's just do this. Oh, of course, you gotta shoot the farthest place away from where I want you to hit. I don't even know. All right, you got to keep this guy. Wow, overheating, eh? Not really. Not really. Here it comes. Hopefully we can get a kill off this guy. Nope. I think I hit something good. Crit hit him, but you didn't kill him. Okay. Well, Goofy's got to try and get that long, Tom. Yeah. They got the torso and killed him, but I didn't get it. It's kind of sucky. But whatever. Nothing even reached here. It's too bad we can't use vehicles either. Yes, Commander. That would kind of be cool. All right, we need to hit that long, Tom, if you could, please. Wow. It is really warm on this planet, eh? Target acquired and locked in. Not quite enough. That's a critical hit. It is! Hope you hit the long, Tom. Didn't destroy one of the machine guns. That looked like it did no damage. He's an infiltrator. Full throttle. We're bottlenecked here. Why do we even need this second lance? Come on. You're just slowing up the production here. Yeah, I saw that coming. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. Yeah, you can fix that though. Armor low. Reporting serious armor loss. All right, let's do this, guys. Hmm. Minefield on the way. Oh, shut it. Are you? It won't be for long. How many contacts are you see now? One less? Multi-phasic attack. We got enough for this? Oh yeah, heat's not bad. Uh, let's go with the 15s on B and the 20s on A. Beautiful. Ooh, not quite enough. Well, the long time's destroyed. That's all that matters. 
You don't have to go too far. Walk it up here. And you should be able to dust this guy, I think. Just use one LRM. Gonna save the Hydra for any mechs that come up next. Beautiful. One for the you got that right! I'm receiving you. Can you get around that corner and attack these guys? You can't even get anywhere. Actually, let's just walk. Sure. Just sit up there. I don't know if you guys can hear my stomach growling. Rawr, you're hungry, buddy. Rawr. Uh, first of all, can we actually get to a point where we can see somebody? We cannot. Nah, I'm just gonna move over here. Waiting for orders. It's raining arrow. Hallelujah, it's raining arrow. Engaging. Shutting them down. Maybe. You don't need to go anywhere. Just hang out there, buddy. Once we activate this next set of pirates, we should be able to wipe them out pretty quickly, I think. Wait, does Gundal still have to go? Yeah, he does. I wonder if you'll have a visual range on that, uh, that guy. We'll find out here in a second. Oh, Goopy's still got to go, too. Reporting. There you go. Here you go, bucko. Over the red line. Jeez. You're really warming it up, eh? Really? What? This heat is cooking my internal structure. What weapon did you lose? Come on, finish that guy up for me. What weapon did you lose? An ATM and the tag barrage. I got replacements, but still. Shot my own arm? Is that what I did? That's highly likely. Cause I'm an idiot. Alright, let's wreck this guy. Oh, he's still going. That's a critical hit. Look at the fire. It's just crazy. Come on, finish him up. Finish him up! Oh, he's coming after us. Good for you. Sure it's only going to save you. I have no idea how much damage he's taking. I think the aircraft need to be a little lower. Commander. Um. Ah, he's stealth. Actually, can we get to a point? We can get a direct line of sight on that guy. Oh, what? Whoa, yeah. Maximum speed. And they overheat a little bit. Let's turn these guys off. Just go with the rack. Mm -hmm. That'll do. That will do. He's got to cool off anyway. Orders. 
you got to cool off too. Let's just move into here. Let's not go into the minefield if we can avoid it though. Heading out. Ready for orders. 31, eh? That's his other side that's damaged. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Prep for the new enemies coming in. See ya. Okay. Darius was so concerned about the uh, clearing the guys out of the base that it's done. Wouldn't be moving forward if it wasn't going to be done. Alright, well, I have the advantage of knowing where the reinforcements are coming from, so. Workhorse. It's supposed to be four and a half, but it is pirates, so I mean, come on, really? Pacify the area around the base. I thought we did that. Uh, copy. Affirmative. I'm here. Acknowledge. Is there like a turn limit or something? Aye, aye. I don't understand. It will be done. Ready for orders. All right, well. Roger that. Digging in. Not going to go anywhere. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Thought they were supposed to bring in reinforcements. Of course they are. Bring it. They should have five. There's at least two up here, two down here. There might be a third one up here. I don't know. But we'll see. Who do we got going first? Hellion, Infiltrator, Goofy, Mastodon. Not bad. And Duck. Warhorse, Gundal, Dallas. Okay. They can't have that strong of a unit down here, so. Talos. Bushwhacker. That guy's got to die fast. It's going on 28, though. That's pretty quick. I agree with the uh, units coming in having a bonus initiative, just not necessarily starting where they start. Dervish on 28. Oh, he's already gone then. Why is it white? Did he reserve? Base is 27. Okay, another Roughneck. That puts the Roughneck count at 3. So we can get a roughneck if we need to take something. Reporting. Yeah, it's fine. Location confirmed. Let's leave the barrage off. It's just going to get in our way here. 
All right, let's uh, warlord this. Front load some damage and start to shred this guy. Ooh, nice. Pilot hit. It's a little close, but that's fine. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty darn good chances to hit. Just saying. Good thing I was targeting that leg, huh? Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. God, I love the look of that with all those rocket launchers on it. Awaiting order. As you wish. Yeah, this ATM build, man. It got heated up pretty quick. Alright, let's front load the damage. Go after this guy, firing. Missed with the tag, but no big deal. He's lost evasive now, so. Oh wait, no, they're not gonna have five because they're not clans. I thought they would have five, but nope. Dervish. What else have we got here? 47 on this guy. Fifty-four on the Talos. And 54 in the Bushwhacker. Let's go in the Talos. Affirmative. Let's get him started. Scored a critical hit. Beautiful. Ready for orders. Wheel the Hydra. Reach this guy. It sure will. Target acquired. OP. Tango down. You know, seriously considering pulling that off. That's just crazy. Don't shoot my salvage. Don't shoot my salvage. Target confirmed. Let's warm them up a little bit. We could have probably done this with Formex. Gonna have to start bidding when we go in here. Don't CT them, you friggers. Um, what? He just refused to shoot that guy? Is that what it is? Apparently not. On top. Report critical hit. Just go home, buddy. You got nothing left. Should have used the rack. Oh, well. Don't know why I do that sometimes. I guess I really shouldn't. Yes, Commander. Location confirmed. What do we hit? Target down. Ah, uh, who knows. Blew everything up. We blew everything up. Alright. Let's finish this guy off. Look at this. He's like got nothing left. See ya. Sure is.
Let's just see if we can get a kill this way. Yeah, that Hydra ammo, I don't know. I'm still up in the air with it. I might strip it off, I might add more. I'm here. So here's Dallas. Might as well warlord it for good measure. You got that right. Yes, Commander. Switch off from HE. Standard should hit, right? It's out of range? Really? No, it's not out of range. Just didn't register it, that's all. Hopefully you get the kill here, buddy. There you go. Let's go home. Painful. Yep. Yeah, there it is, folks. Alright. Contract payment increased by 30%. That's nice. So, yeah, night gear. That was my fault. That was my fault. No, no injuries, though. It's just nice. It's always good when no one gets injured. All right, let's see what we can complete here. Got to throw the Orion part in for now. Roughneck, we got one. We got enough Roughneck parts. Take those three. Wait, this is the 2A? I thought we had a... We, we, I think we got a Vulture 2 part somewhere. Let's do that. I'm not even going to look down here because if I find something I want, then I'm going to not take this, but I'm going to take these because I know we can assemble these. Alright, what do we got here? Dervish part. We got the Orion part. Okay, good. Bushwhacker part. Medium X pulses. Two of those. Now, I sold my X pulses off um, simply because the range is 330 meters, so I might sell these two. Oh, good. Clan Indo Steel. We needed that badly. Part type double heatsink. We'll always take those. Yeah, incendiary MRM ammo was good as a backup. We got like four of them left, but all right, a couple of cores we can sell, so not bad. All right, two hundred and fourteen thousand. That's not too bad. Not too bad. A lot of it was my mistake too. All right, we're gonna get these things fixed up here. Uh, manage the tasks a little better. Let's have a look at the mech base real quick. Let's assemble those mechs. Seventy ton vulture, man. I don't know. We got so many mechs, we got to get rid of some of these things. <laughs> All right, storage. Uh, yeah, we can put together a vulture. Let's assemble the rough neck. That mech you wanted is back online. Um, let's hang on to the vulture for now. We can assemble a timber wolf. Yeah, that's the vulture. It's so cool looking. I might include it as part of the second lance. I don't know. Or the lighter lance. We'll see. Alright, let's just go oops, back to the mech bay, sorry. And we'll sell that mech. That should give us our financial report. Here it is here. See what it's got on it. Probably nothing. Looks like it was trashed here. Looks like it was trashed. We got sorry, we got another rack ten. Did we get any ammo? Oh, we did. Caseless ammo. Okay. That gives us four tons. That's that's kind of good. I mean, we can... Ah, it's time to start putting together a rack build. Medium improved, ATM, all machine guns. Yeah. Meh, all right. Kind of a nice loadout. Good thing he didn't get a chance to fire at us. It could have been bad. All right, let's scrap this guy. Almost a million. Beautiful. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in ahead. Let's go to store. We do have a few mechs that we have in storage that I don't think we're ever going to get a chance to use. So I'm going to sell those. See if we can get enough C-bills to, to put a core in one of the bigger mechs. So the Archer, I don't think we're ever going to go back to this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And the Ryokin, 
since it needs to have a core and everything although it's it's not it's not an Omnimech it's got the hard points but it doesn't have the Omnimex capability so I have to add like an engine and XL engine all that kind of stuff right so um, that is not going to fly either so let's go ahead and sell it although it's kind of cool it's just at this moment it's way too pricey for me to do anything with let's go ahead and sell that staring at that Marauder guys I'm staring at the Marauder but I'll leave it for now um, I'm going to go into the uh, bays between episodes um, and sell a whole bunch of parts that I know we're never going to use. Uh, get rid of those. Um, this shouldn't take too long to get our guys back here. It's going to be what, five? One, two, three, six days to get everything back. That's not enough to reach, meet, make the financial report, unfortunately. So, uh, actually, let's have a look at the command center really quick. I want to see, maybe we change that around. Decapitation is against local pirates, and drop interception is against local defense force. You know what we're going to do? We're going to change this. We're going to go this route. Um... We're going to go that way because in two days we're going to have a bunch of mechs back and a whole bunch of pilots. So we could probably pull off a couple more missions before the end of the month, which is always good. So we've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mechs. I think we could do it in two teams. I think we can easily do it in two teams. So that's what we're going to do. We'll split up those two three and a half skull missions. And we'll go ahead and pull those off before the end of the month. Get some more sea bills. Hopefully get enough to drop an XL engine in that Kaiju, Kaiju and get that thing up and running. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, and we'll put those heavy risk PPCs in it and see how it works out. All right. But I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.